I have my daughter joining me today in the background and uh, I think we're going to do some uh, general yoga and a little bit of strengthening as well. Yeah, for the core, we like core. Okay, so come to the top of the mat, have your arms by your side. We're going to go nice and slow. Relax your shoulders, have a slight bend in your knees, and bring your chin towards the chest and slowly, slowly roll down. Have your belly sucked in, your back is round, and make sure you keep the bend in your knees. And then stay here. So you're in your forward fold and then slowly come rolling up, up, up. All the way. And then have your arms by your side again. Let's do that one more time. So bring your chin towards the chest and slowly roll forward. Maybe fingertips touch the mat, maybe they don't, it doesn't matter. And then slowly come rolling up again. Shoulders and head, last, arms by your side. Now take your hands, interlace your hands behind you. Bring your feet together, so feet are touching, and squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs. And straighten out your arms and lift your hands off your hips, yeah? So take your arms as high as you can. So nothing else is moving, you don't wanna arch your back. So keep your glutes squeezed, holding here. And then release your hands for a moment. And again, you straighten your arms, but this time you lift your chest up. So you're coming into a bit of a back bend. Your hands slide down and maybe lift your hands off your glutes a little bit. But you're still having your glutes engaged. So bum is squeezed, holding here. And release. Have your arms by your side. Just so shake them out a little bit. And then bend your knees, come into chair pose. So don't overdo it. Just a slight bend in the knees, extend your arms forward and then line your arms up with your ears. So take your arms higher. Hold it here and breathe. Keep your glutes engaged and your belly sucked in. Take an inhale. On your next exhale, you fold forward. You straighten your legs a little bit and your fingers come down onto the mat. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Suck your belly in. Maybe hands come onto your shins or fingertips on the mat and then step back into a downward facing dog. So spread your fingers, take a big step back, one leg, then the other leg, and then settle down in your down dog. So take your dog for a walk, paddle your feet, release your heels down, raise your hips as high as you can, relax your neck. The crown of the head comes towards the mat. So make sure your fingers are spread, your arms are straight, and if you're hypermobile in your elbow joints, have a slight bend there. Move your triceps towards each other, holding here, and then round your back as you come forward into plank pose. So slowly, slowly, you're lifting your heels up, you suck your belly in, you're rounding your back, you're coming into plank pose. Once you're in your plank, you're unfurling, gazes forward and you straighten your back. Tailbone down, ribs together. And then round your back again as you come into your downward facing dog. So you're raising your hips high and release your heels down. And again, let's do that two more times. Combine that with your breathing. So on an inhale, you're coming forward slowly, slowly into a plank. And then on an exhale, you go into your downward facing dog. One more. Inhale, you're rounding forward, come into a plank. And exhale, back into your downward facing dog. Come into all fours. So lower your knees onto the mat. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Point your toes. Extend your right arm forward. Extend your left leg back. Keep your ribs together. Raise both up. So shoulder height, hip height, not higher. Press the floor away from you, holding here. Now with your arm, find one o'clock. With your leg, find seven o'clock. Holding here. And then with your arm, find two o'clock. And with your leg, find eight o'clock. Hold that. Press the floor away from you. Hold here and then release everything down. So hand on the mat, knee on the mat, other side. Extend your left arm forward, your right leg back. Lift both up, stay strong in your core, holding here, and then find 11 o'clock with your hand, and find five o'clock with your leg. Hold here, keep pressing, don't collapse. And then find uh, 10 o'clock with your hand, and what time is it there? Four o'clock with your leg, hold here and then release everything down. Good. So you're in your downward facing dog. 
tuck your toes under, lift your knees up and then come back into your downward facing dog and paddle your feet. And slowly walk your feet forward towards your hands. Relax your head down. Get hold of your opposite elbows, knees are bent, and slowly come rolling up, 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 back into a standing position. And then have your arms by your side. Sun salutation A. Take an inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, and exhale, fold forward, relax your head down. Fingertips come onto the mat and line with your toes. Next time you take an inhale, lengthen and lift, and exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, bring your shoulders forward, knees down. Exhale, bend the elbows no more than 90 degrees. Point your toes, lift up into your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe here in your down dog. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. And then bend your knees, look towards your hands, step, walk or hop your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, fold, inhale, come up, palms touch, and exhale, samastiti. Shall we speed it up a bit? Good. Inhale, raise, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and lift, exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward, knees down, exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step, walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, palms touch, exhale, summer city. One more, inhale, raise, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and lift, exhale, step back or hop back into plank pose, shoulders forward and then lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe, catch your breath. If you got out of breath a little bit and hold here. Okay, we're going to come into warrior one on the right side. So right foot comes between your hands, doesn't have to come all the way and your left here comes down. Your feet on train tracks. Now come up into your warrior two. Relax your shoulders down, holding here. And from warrior one, we transition into warrior two. So straighten your front leg, heel to the foot in a little bit, maybe go even wider in your stance, and then open arms, hips, chest for a warrior two. Reaching through the fingertips, your arms straight and strong. Your back leg is super straight, and your front knee stays above the ankle. So then let it collapse inwards, hold here. One more inhale, next exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward, knees down, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up into back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, left foot forward, right heel down, feet on train tracks, coming up, warrior one. Take an inhale, and exhale, relax the shoulders, sink a little bit deeper, holding here, and we will transition into warrior two again. So straighten your front leg, heel to the foot in a bit, back foot maybe goes back even, and then open your arms, hips, chest into your warrior two. Hold here. So you're super strong in your legs, and your left knee stays above the ankle, so don't let it collapse inwards. Holding here. One more inhale. Next exhale, step back into plank pose. Shoulders forward, knees down, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up into your back bend and exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Hold your downward facing dog. And then take your right foot halfway down the mat. So not all the way forward, just halfway. Good. And then raise your left leg up. Look behind you, flex your left foot. Keep your hips as square as you can. So your left toes face towards the mat. I know we can all open the hips a little bit more. Let's do that later. Holding here and then start to raise your hands up. So they come next to your torso and you're lifting your torso up a little bit as well. So arms next to your body. If this is too wobbly, just keep your fingertips on the, on the mat. That's absolutely fine as well. Hold here. So you're in your warrior three. We've done warrior one. We've done warrior two. This is warrior three. Hold here and then release your hands down. Step back into your downward facing dog and we'll flow through vinyasa. Come forward into a plank pose. Bring your shoulders forward, knees down. Bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Other side. Left foot comes halfway down the mat. 
Raise your right leg up. So look behind you, foot is flexed, toes face down. And then start to lift the chest up and then lift your hands maybe up as well. And don't worry if you're falling, it's all part of the experience. Hold here, feel the strength of your leg muscles. Holding here, one more inhale and exhale. Release your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Vinyasa, come forward into plank pose. Bring your shoulders forward, knees down, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here. Walk your feet a little bit closer towards your hands. Okay? So you may want to adjust here. Now take your right hand and catch the outer ankle of your left leg. See if you can reach. If not, uh, bring your feet a little bit closer. Yeah, Helena, take the outer, uh, the outer side. Yeah, like this. And then straighten your legs out as much as you can, pressing your heels down. And we're adding a twist. You look underneath your left armpit towards the side. Hello, there you are. Holding here and release. Switching sides. So take the outer ankle of your right leg with your left hand. Straighten your legs as much as you can. And then maybe add a little twist. It's a tough one. I can feel my legs as well, my hamstrings. And then release and come into your normal downward facing dog. So take your legs a little bit further back. Good, shall we do a little bit of core? Yay. Okay, so since we're here, our core will have to be from a plank position, okay? So come forward into a plank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, raise your right leg up. Now bring your right knee behind your right wrist. And we're going to draw some circles with that knee. So you bring it towards the left side behind the wrist. Then you lift it up. Bring it to the right again, towards the right armpit. Lower it down. Got it? And again. So little circles. So let's do three more circles here. And two. And one, pigeon pose. Oh my God, I really need a pigeon pose now. So knee onto the mat, foot to the side, and then walk your hips back, walk your leg back, and sink your hips down. Come onto your forearms for this one, and gently sway from side to side. But don't get too comfortable here. We're not done yet. Okay, come up onto your hands again. Back toes tucked under, lift the knee, step back into downward facing dog. And then forward into plank again. Now bring your left knee behind your left wrist. And then bring it behind the right wrist. Lift it towards the right armpit, over towards the left armpit, and then down again. And then again, you're drawing circles. You can go a little bit faster if you like. So three more circles. Two. And one. And then lower your knee onto the mat. Bring the foot to the side, sink your hips down. Holding here, and then come onto your forearms. And gently sway your hips from side to side. Enjoy the stretch. Okay, and then come back into downward facing dogs. Walk your hands back. Your back toes are tucked under. Lift the knee up. Step back, downward facing dog. Paddle your feet a few times. And then bend your knees, look towards your hands. Step, walk, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, forward. Stay in your forward fold. If your feet are not hip distance apart, bring them hip distance apart. And then get hold of your ankles. Pull yourself further into your forward fold. Holding here. Hold here. And then release your fingertips on the mat in front of you. So fingertips, yeah? So bring them a bit further forward. And then start to bend your knees. Your heels will lift off the mat. So you're going to go into a squatting position, or into a crouch rather. Okay, so all the way down, and then you're lifting up again. You can keep your heels lifted if you like. And again, so you're sinking down and lifting up. Let's do three more like this. Sink and lift. Two more. Sink and lift. One more. Sink and lift. Release the heels down, heel to the feet, out to the side, and then sink your hips down again. You're in a squatting position. Walk your hands forward, round your back. Bring your chin towards the chest, hang out here. And then lift your hips up slightly, place your hands on the mat, 
place them firmly onto the mat, fingers are spread, and then you can step back or you jump back into a plank pose. Good, and you're jumping forward into your squat again. Good, and then jump back again, and forward. Three more, jump back, and forward. Two more, jump back, and forward. One more, jump back, jump forward, get holding here, and then sink your hips down again, so you're in a squatting position. And gently sway from side to side a few times. Now, interlace your hands, and have your index fingers facing forward. Good, holding here, take your arms next to the ears. Hold here. And then summon all the strength in your leg muscles, and then in slow motion, you're coming up into standing position. Slow motion. <laughs> I'm not quite sure I can actually do it. Slowly, ah, oh, come up all the way, and then release your arms by your side. Good. Take a step out to the side. So legs are nice and wide. Have your toes turned in slightly. Take an inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold forward. Place your hands into the mat. Walk your fingers back until your fingers are in line with your toes. Bend your elbows backwards. Inhale, lengthen, lift, look forward, and exhale, release all the way down. So crown of the head comes towards the mat. Keep your toes turned in slightly. Holding here and breathe for three more. Two. And one. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, come up into standing position. And then turn your right toes out to the side. Bend your right leg. Now extend your arms to the sides here in your warrior two. Take an inhale. Exhale, right hand onto the mat inside your right foot. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Holding here. Bring your gaze up. If anyone fancies to do a bind, you can also do a bind. But remember, don't give yourself a veggie. Yeah. Hold here for three more, two, and one. Look down, come up, keep your front leg bent, and then straighten out your front leg. Okay, take an inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge, reach forward, and lower down for triangle pose. So it's a bit of a wider triangle, reaching up, and reaching down at the same time. Holding here, keep both legs straight if possible. Then look down, take your arms up and place your hands into your hips. Bring your feet parallel to each other again. Keep your hands where they are for the next forward fold. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Relax your head down. And then bring your elbows facing towards the sky or towards the ceiling, yeah? Exactly like that. Hold here and breathe for three more. Two, and one, slowly come up, up, up. Good. Turn your left toes out, bend your left leg. Take your arms, extend them to the side for your warrior two. Inhale and exhale, touch down, right arm up, holding here. And again, if you want to do a bind, you can do a bind, but don't give yourself a veggie. Hold here, reaching up for three more, two, and one, look down, keep your front leg bent as you slowly come up and now straighten out your front leg. Triangle, inhale and exhale, hinge, reach forward and lower your arms. Reach up and down at the same time and breathe for three, two and one, look down, come up again, take your hands, place them onto your hips, bring your feet parallel to each other. One more forward fold, extend your arms to the sides, interlace your hands, lengthen, lift, inhale and exhale, fold forward and take your arms with you over your head. Stay here and breathe for three more, two and one, slowly come up, up, up and release. Take your hands onto your hips, and then step forward to the top of the mat again. Release your arms by your side. Let's flow through one sand salutation and we'll do a tiny bit more core here. Inhale, raise, and exhale, forward. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward, knees down, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up, back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here, and then come into all four. So lower your knees onto the mat, and then lift your knees off the mat, just a centimeter, an inch. 
raise your right foot up then bring your right knee to the chest and back and again right knee to the chest and back for eight seven six five four three two one foot comes down knee stay off of the mat other side so left foot off the mat knee to chest and bring it back knee to chest bring it back for eight seven six five four three two one foot comes down good lift your knees come to into downward facing dog side plank i'm really sorry come forward into plank pose i'm going to take it easy actually i'm going to place my right knee down <laughs> you're taking it easier too that's fine and then come into the inner edge of the left foot and your left arm comes up towards the sky so you can do this or if you want to make it harder you have both of your legs straight holding here for three more two and one switching side so hand comes down maybe your knee comes onto the mat other leg steps back and then raise your arm up hold here stack your shoulders stack your arms and your hips for three two and one and release hand comes down both knees are on the mat now and we come into a seated position so sink your hips down swing your legs around very simple and you're sitting down more core more core we love core extend your arms forward take an inhale and exhale slowly lower down all the way all the way have your arms by your side bring your feet a tiny bit closer towards you and then drop your knees over towards the right interlace your hands behind your head lift your head off the mat so it's uh, in a hover take an inhale on your exhale lift your head a little bit higher it's a small movement and then lower down to a hover on an inhale and again exhale you lift inhale lower eight more exhale and inhale and keep going for seven six five four three two one and release your head down bring your knees up drop them over to the other side good lift your head up it's in a hover take an inhale and exhale you're lifting inhale lower to hover and exhale you're lifting eight more and and seven more six five four three two one and then release your head down bring your knees up straighten out your legs so the next one i would like to speed it up a little bit but if you are not comfortable with that you go slow so raise your head up to a hover and then you're lifting and lowering lift and lower so you can exhale through the mouth kind of sharp bursts as you exhale yeah like yeah got it Helena good and keep going let's do 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and release your head down well done okay bring your arms into genie arms so you take your arms up you get hold of your opposite elbows place your feet flat on the mat and then raise your feet off the mat wrap your right leg over the left yeah so you can bring one knee over the other and if possible you're really wrapping all the way exactly okay so don't move your torso don't move your arms bring your knees towards your arms and lower so lift and lower lift and lower seven six five four three two one let's do ten more huh and ten same side nine eight seven six five 
four, three, two, one. Good, and release. Hug your knees into your chest, roll from side to side. Stay here for a moment. Okay, and then other side. So you bring your arms into genie arms again, and you're wrapping your left leg over the right. So eagle legs if you can. And then lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Hug your knees into your chest, roll from side to side. And straighten out your legs onto the mat. Point your toes, take your arms next to your ears, make yourself nice and long, and then come into banana shape. So you're bringing your legs over towards, let's say, the right, and your torso as well. And you feel the stretch in your left side. And then back to the center, over to the other side. Lovely stretch here. And then back to the center. Bring your right knee into the chest. Really pull it as close as you can. And then take your right, uh, hands, and bring it behind your right thigh. Straighten out your right leg as much as you can and pull it towards you. Maybe walk your hands up towards your calves or towards your ankle even. And then pull the leg towards you. Okay. And for the last few inhales, exhales, lift your torso up as well, holding here. And breathe for three more, two, and one. Slowly release. Torso down, foot comes down, and straighten out the leg. Other side, so left knee comes into the chest. Pull it as close towards you as you can. And then place your hands behind your thigh. Straighten out your leg. Maybe walk your hands up. So pull it towards you. So one side may be different than the other. And then for the last few inhales, exhale, you lift your heart, you lift your torso up. Hold here for three more, two, and one. Slowly release down. Place your feet flat on the mat. Bring your heels close towards you. Have your arms by your side. We're starting nice and slow. Tag your tailbone under and then raise your hips, lower back, middle back, part of your upper back up. So in a little bridge, and then slowly, you're lowering down again. Go vertebra for vertebra if you can. Once you're down, you're releasing completely, and you feel the natural curve of your spine again. And again, you're pressing your feet down, and you're rolling up, and you're rolling down. Let's do one more like this. You're rolling up, and you're rolling down. Stay here for a moment. You can continue doing that, or you come into a yoga bridge. So again, you're rolling up. This time you're staying up. You're raising the hips higher. Keep your feet grounded. Interlace your hands behind you. And then straighten your arms and draw your shoulders towards each other, shoulder blades towards each other. Press your feet down. Raise your hips a bit higher if you can. Holding here for three more. Two here. Keep your feet grounded. And one. First release your hands, then your shoulders, and then slowly, slowly. Lower down all the way. Extend your legs up towards the sky. Take your hands, place them onto your other thighs, and then come into a straddle. So take your legs out to the side. Good, holding here. And place your hands on your inner thighs, and then press your legs a little bit wider. Hold that. And then bring your legs up again. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. Start to uh, roll from side to side. And then we're uh, going to come into a seated position again by rocking forwards and backwards until you are sitting down. Good. Straighten out your legs in front of you. Sit up tall. Place your hands left and right of your hips. Flex your feet. Take an inhale and then exhale. Hinging from your hips, slowly fold forward. Yeah, you can walk your hands forward, see how far they want to go. But keep your shoulders relaxed. Try not to round your back. Try not to uh, push too much. Hold here. You want to feel the stretch in your calves, in your hamstrings, maybe even in your glutes. Hold here. And then slowly come 
up. Now bend your right leg for Janashasana and you place the sole of the foot against the inner thigh. So right foot against the inner thigh. Inhale and exhale. You fold over your left leg now. So same thing. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your back as straight as you can and your left leg is engaged. Toes facing up. But remember, you can always bend your knee. Hold here. And then slowly come up, switching sides. So other side. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Hold here. And then slowly come up. Okay, for the next one, your left leg is underneath and your knee is facing forward, okay? And then your right knee folds on top. Got it? Good, I'm gonna face uh, towards the camera. Like so, okay? So I'm a little bit lopsided. In order for me to sit up straight, what I do is I move the heel out of the way and I place my hands over the soles of the feet. I lift up, wiggle around a little bit and lower down and that way it's a bit easier. If you can't do that, you can always place your foot flat on the mat and instead you go into a twist, yeah? Otherwise, you fold forward here. So you're folding forward and you hopefully feel the stretch in your glutes and then breathe here. And then slowly come up. Keep your legs as they are. Hold here. And then release. Switching sides. So other knee goes underneath. Stack the knees on top of each other. Maybe you need to do what I need to do. To lift up, wiggle around a little bit, lower down. And remember, as a little alternative, you can come into the twist. Otherwise, you fold forward here. And enjoy the stretch. And one more inhale and exhale, slowly come up. Stay here just a little bit longer and release, relax your legs. Okay, bring your legs out to the side into a straddle. Okay, good. Take your hands on the mat in front of you and then round forward, just to relax forward fold. Keep your legs relaxed as well. So don't go as deep as you could. We're gonna do a second round and the second round you can go deeper. For the first round, stay relaxed in your forward fold. And then slowly come up. Now take your hands behind you, flex your feet, lift your hips up, scooch forward a little bit so you're wider with the legs. Take an inhale and exhale. Go forward, this time if possible with a straight back and then you go as deep as you can. Exactly. You can either walk your hands forward, you could also take the inner edges of the feet or your big toes to pull yourself deeper and deeper into the forward fold. And breathe. So five deep inhales and exhales. Three more. Two. And one. Slowly come all the way up. Place your hands underneath the knees, lift your knees up and come into a cross-legged position. Walk both of your hands over to the right side. Got it? Okay. And then walk them a little bit further behind you. So in a bit of a twist. Quite a bit of a twist actually. And then come back through the center and over to the other side. So your hands walk over to the other side. and then come back to the center. Interlace your hands, extend your arms forward, drop your shoulders, and do some circles with the shoulders in one direction. And in the other direction. And release. Place your fingertips on the mat, and then raise your right arm up. Get hold of your left ear, and then bring your right ear towards the right shoulder. Feel the stretch there in your neck and release, other side. And release, fingertips are on the mat. Next time you take an inhale, you lift your shoulders up and exhale. 
And again, inhale and exhale. One more like this, inhale and exhale. And close your eyes, place your hands on your knees, relax the shoulders. Jaws relaxed, eyes are soft. Gentle inhales and exhales through the nose. Keep your eyes closed. Place your palms together in front of your heart. Rub your hands. And then cover your eyes. Forehead, apply a bit of pressure here. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, mouth. And release your hands. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. And big thank you to my daughter as well. Well done. Until next time.